Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, sing glory, and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakadash, and the Heavenly Father, your name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those that are true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, little tongue. And I say Barak Thum to the uh, elders, Barak and Ma'akwa, from I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 10. That's going to be the title of a quick sit down lesson. And this is uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 10, and it reads, it says, The name of Yahweh is, is a strong tower, and the righteous run unto it, and it's safe. All right, so that pertains to the children of Israel. And I don't want, you know, in Ottawa and Ratsa, Yahweh willing that we continue run towards the path of right righteousness, you know, seeking the ways of righteousness, and the righteous path and the righteous ways of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know, as we are his children, the uh, Israelites, you know. Especially the uh, servants and prophets and messengers, and ambassadors in these last days, as we continue to run towards the righteous ways towards the heavenly Father Yahweh, and you know, trust in His ways, and call upon you know the true name, which is the heavenly Father Yahweh. Proverbs eighteen and verse ten. I'm reading again. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower, right? Because that's the heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. The lost one could ask the whole tongue. Uh, Yahweh, you know, the name of Yahweh is a strong tower, and the righteous run unto it and be safe. <clears throat> right, because the scripture says, uh, whose mind is stayed on the most high shall keep them in perfect peace. And the uh, I think it's Proverbs, the uh, third chapter. Uh, you know, we tr you know, um, I think it's Proverbs, the third chapter, it says, uh, the more you acknowledge the heavenly father, he shall direct thy paths. When that pertains to the children of Israel. So the Israelites trust in the ways of the heavenly father. You know, so what's I'm gonna bring it out, Salakia? So not trying to butcher the scripture. Yep, this is a Proverbs, I think it's three and verse six, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is a uh, Proverbs three and verse six. In all thy ways acknowledge him, for him is the heavenly father, the true power, which is Yahweh. It's a uh, in all thy ways acknowledge him, he shall direct thy paths. Right? So this pertains to the children of Israel, you know, the heavenly father is speaking to his people, the Israelites. So the more we uh, the more we acknowledge the heavenly father and come back to our heritage and our customs, our language as being the heavenly father's chosen people and trust in his ways. Because it's all about lifting up the names of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Because it's all about it's all about the Heavenly Father Yahweh, you know, lifting up His name, prophesying His name, lifting up His name, you know, standing up for righteousness for Him, you know. Uh, Proverbs three and verse six: In all thy ways acknowledge Him; He shall direct thy path. So the more we acknowledge the Heavenly Father, and He shall direct our paths, you know, towards the ways of righteousness in the sight of Heavenly Father. Because the ways of the Heavenly Father's righteousness is a hundred percent pure, you know. Because he's the uh, true living power, which is the heavenly father, Yahweh, you know. Uh, let's get to that uh, Proverbs 18, verse 10. So lock you. Yeah, this is a uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 10. Then I'm going to close it out. So this was just a quick sit down lesson through the spirit, power, grace and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Proverbs 3 and verse 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower, right? So the name of the Heavenly Father is ultimately a strong tower because that's his true name. Because there's a, a true, powerful meaning of that name, which is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. That's why the Heavenly Father's strong name, the Heavenly Father's uh, name is a strong tower. And the righteous run unto it, and it is safe. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson is uh, edifying of uh, Proverbs 18 and verse 10. And that's the uh, title of the sit-down lesson, of the quick sit-down lesson that I want to bring out of Proverbs 18 and verse 10. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and unto to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash, and the Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh. In his only begotten son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach, Kabashah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, uh, Lashwa Kadash, the whole tongue. And I say Barakatham to the uh, elders, Barakim, Barakwa. Till next time, I will say Shalom.